This brother said, Portable is more relevant than your fab. Topic for another day online. Brag, brag. Then he also said, Let me rephrase for the unintelligent ones. Portable is more relevant than whiskey. God used Kepta to do this one. And that is coming from none other than Dami Green. Dami Green used to be a really close friend to Davido, but later they part ways. Dami Green used to be a really close friend to Bonner Boy, and later they part ways. And definitely used to be a really close friend to Whiskey. And Whiskey saw through him how he is in later part ways with Dami Green. Unfortunately, Dami Gray, I think his online relevancy is no longer that relevant. Then he decided to call out this kid. Even Portable wouldn't want to be in, on that the same sentence with Whiskey. Let's be honest. Portable no go one day that the same sentence. This is insult. Portable is a great artist, though. but you now are trying to cost. You are not trying to bring something up out of nothing. You are the hater here, Dami Cray. Portable didn't send you to say is greater than, relevant than whiskey. You are the one making such claims. Why don't you use your own self? Why don't you say, me, I am relevant than whiskey? Why do, are you dragging Portable into it? Someone told him that, they go so break another bottle for your head. No worry, fool. Then he said, they no burn them well. If not for Shinapella and Obago, I would have locked up whiskey, which I still can do if the need arise. Jay threw glass up in my section in Kulos. Then ran away to hide in Sinaspella's office and begged me LOL. Whiskey no say men for entaram. R-O-I-P-444. Then someone said, if them leave you and whiskey one on one, you mean you go come out in teeth just now? Then he said, you want the wine Jesus? When tall water to wine? Make them organize that boxing tournament for me and I'm first. Make all eyes clear. He said he want boxing tournament with Whiskey so that he can beat Whiskey. There was an issue years ago between Whiskey and Dami Queen. Uh, uh, Whiskey allegedly uh, bust bottle on uh, Dami Queen's head. So that be crazy feeling really really odd about the whole matter but there was still another incident that whiskey brought out that McCray on stage to perform and they squashed their beef they were okay whiskey they will give him some money everything was okay but why are you bringing out whiskey all of a sudden whiskey is chill why are you bringing out whiskey all of a sudden you drag the video over money that you claim the video is on you and nothing came out of there. Now you are now moving towards whiskey. Come on. You cannot make it. You cannot revive your career by calling out people. Let's make that clear. You cannot revive your career by calling out people. Come on. Well, he said they want to have a boxing match with whiskey. I believe that the only boxing match that whiskey want to ever engage in his money so if you have the opportunity uh, let me stand for let me let me act as whiskey agent if you have 50 million us dollars the whiskey will be willing to go into the ring with you to fight but if you don't have why don't keep your mouth shut so you expect whiskey to fight you for free if ever i want to fight you for free just to squash a beef did the same whiskey that hardly even respond to anybody whiskey will not respond to you it's just a few fans that will respond to you we already know whiskey will not respond to you it won't fight you if he will see you close to him it will fight you just move past you 
That's how well we know whiskey for being chilled. Well, Dami Cray, now you do this one to yourself. Oh. You did this one. Whiskey was just on its own. You decide to carry whiskey the entire time. And because you need a few minutes of relevancy. Now you are saying potable is more relevant than whiskey. Why don't you use yourself? Why don't you say, I am more relevant than whiskey? Ah! Do you do, do you see yourself that low? Let's be honest. Do Darby Gray see himself that low? Because he's a superstar also. Why can't you say you are more relevant than whiskey? You are a fan to another celebrity. Come on, man. You are crazy. Well, let me know exactly how you feel about that. Do you think whiskey should fight a Darby Gray in a boxing match? <laughs> Then the boxing match that they are currently preparing for, because I'm hearing some uh, rumor that David Doe and Bonner Boy might be looking into stepping into the ring to squash their beef. Maybe sometimes next year. I don't know if that will be possible, but if that is possible, of course, you see the training of uh, David Doe and you see the training of uh, of uh, Bonner Boy. Looking at both trainees, guys, of them training. Who will you put your money on? Between Bonner and Bonner Boy, who will you say, oh, I will bet my money on this person? Who? Between Bonner and David O. Don't forget, guys. Don't forget. Don't look face. Don't say Bonner face is strong. That's exactly what they did to AJ versus Ugano. They say Ugano is strong. It's scary. Don't look at Bonaboy's face and say Bonaboy is scary. You might be surprised if there was a bossy boss match. David Doe will mess up Bonaboy real bad. I'm just saying, I'm not saying it will actually happen though. But if there was a best, uh, boxing match and you put your money on Bonaboy, you might be surprised that it's not by how hard your face is or how, how uh, razz you are. Or at the number of Ibo you smoke. Nah, it's not about that. It's about who can punch. Who can punch well. I will go for, honestly, it's a close one though. If Bonaboy and David Do should fight, I don't want to underrate uh, David Do. I don't want to overhype Bonaboy. I think I'm going to, I'm not going to pick anyone, guys, because I do not have the luxury to pick any. So let me know if Bonaboy and David Do accidentally decide to fight. Boxing match, who will you be rooting for? You'll be rooting for David O to knock out Bonaboy or Bonaboy to knock out to David O. Check, check the uh, I've, I've, I've shown you the both of their uh, of them training, and you can see how well they can jab. You can see how well they can jab. So tell me, guys, who are you rooting for, Bonner or David? Bona or Davido? Who are you rooting for, guys? Bona or Davido? Hmm? And a big up to Bona Boy for carrying a Fino along. You know, over the past few years, I think artists like Fino, Flavor, and so many other artists, they are not really being taken along by all those superstars whenever they are performing at these huge venues. Uh, Bonaboy brought out Fino, uh, that was yesterday, and they had a really, really wonderful performance. And Bonaboy was praised by many that, yeah, he did this one. Bonaboy did this one, guys, he did this one to so bring out uh, Fino to perform with Fino. That was really, really beautiful. Allowing Fino to test that huge Europe stage, you know, that in his, of course, he knows it's a different vibe, it's a different kind of love. It's a different kind of set of different than what we have over here in Nigeria. Mm, different. So I'm so happy that Bonaboy is taking Fino, uh, Fino along. I think that they might be the new besties when it comes to the Nigerian entertainment industry. They might be the new besties. So I hope they continuously working together. And of course, you no. Know, I guess it is done. Hmm? So let me know, like I've said before, who are you rooting for between Bonaboy 
and Davido. Would you rather see Davido beat the hell out of Bonner Boy, or you rather see Bonner Boy beat the hell out of Davido? So that they can score this beef, this beef once and for all. Instead of calling each other sidely, no. Coming to the ring, squash it. I think it's a really good development. Investors should look into it. Whenever Nigerian artists are having beef, beef, set up a match, pay them money, and then sell out ticket. You're still gonna gain more. Hmm? You're still gonna gain more.